What's up guys, Anton here, and uh, I'm gonna try something different in today's video. Um, I wanna actually go through someone's store, so I'm gonna go through a Shopify store, and then I'm gonna give my feedback and really review it. So talk about things that I would change, and then more importantly, talk about why. And the goal of this video is so that person that wants me to review their store can obviously get the feedback and hopefully implement it, but also so everyone watching this, including you, can get feedback and you know use this towards your own store. And I hope this helps whether or not you already have built a business you know maybe you have a Shopify store now or maybe you don't have one yet and you're thinking of building one either way this could definitely help you because if you don't have one yet you're gonna see what kind of mistakes you can avoid so you do it right the first time and if you already have one and you've been kind of like struggling along not making much money maybe not getting any sales maybe you're in the same situation as this person and that will help you to you know make the the right changes so uh, the reason I'm doing this by the way and while I click over here I'll tell you this isn't part of dropship week or anything this is something that I'm thinking about doing as a new I guess like YouTube series on this dropship lifestyle channel so uh, if you do like it if you want me to review your store or anything let me know in the comments below you could just post a link to your store or you know give the video a like whatever if you like this you want me to do more let me know and I'll do them so uh, this is a post I made on the community section of our Dropship Lifestyle page, I guess like five days ago. And I just said, I'm thinking of doing this new show, blah, blah, blah. And then Jeremy said, I'd like your opinion of my store. So he put the URL here. Um, I actually already have it open, so I'm going to pull it up here. So this is uh, this is Jeremy's store. Jeremy, thank you for taking the chance and submitting it. Um, it's called Stock Up outlet.com and um, I'm gonna be you know brutally honest you know I, the first thing that I see when I land on this page is that I, I just wouldn't trust this site and I don't know what type of site it is um, so listen as and this is like no you know hard feelings I don't not gonna be mean or anything I'm just gonna let you know like where I think you kind of went wrong so far and how you could salvage it but when I land on the site right Let's just say like somehow I was on Facebook, maybe that's how you're getting your traffic, and I saw a Facebook ad for this baby uh, hammock sleeping bed, and I clicked on that, right? Let's, so let's say, I don't know your site yet, I'm on Facebook, I see an ad for this, I click it, I come to this page, I'm like, okay, cool, I want a baby hammock sleeping bed, but stock, stock up outlet, you know, who, who is this? I don't know, let me go to their homepage and see who the site is, can I trust them? And then, you know, as your potential customer, I click over to your homepage and I see, a couple with their arms around each other, you know, on a bridge. Then I see a guy buy some oil train cars with long hair, and then I see his hair blowing in the wind, right? So like immediately, I'm like, wait, what, what is this? Like, where am I, right? So I mean, that that's that's gotta go. It makes no sense for what you're trying to do here. And with that being said, I really don't know what you're trying to do here with this store because then when I see your product listings, again, if I came here thinking I was gonna buy a, a hammock sleeping bed, I see what metallic colored hair wax next to pet grooming gloves next to men's jewelry next to a, a, a pet paw I guess like next to hats next to car accessories so the point is like and then a men's bathroom bathroom apron like it just doesn't make sense it doesn't flow and if you're gonna say like well listen Amazon sells all types of products like why can't I do that I'm not saying you can't, but this is not the way to do it. And I'm saying it would be a lot easier if you chose one product type so that you could have a congruent shopping experience for everyone that landed on your store and so you could build a real brand. What this looks to me, like right away, this looks like a burner store, stores that people have been setting up, trying to hopefully get some sales and you know not planning at all for the long term. So like, I'll give you an example, let me come back and we'll, we'll get deeper than that, but first piece of advice again is pick one product type, not one product, pick one product type Type and make your site themed around that so you can actually have some credibility and establish some authority in that niche and it's gonna help your potential customers trust you a lot more it's gonna help your site be valuable if you ever want to sell it and it's gonna help it be around for a lot longer than something like this now let's go uh, a little bit deeper right let's just say again that you chose let's say you decided okay I want to sell baby products that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna make stock up outlet a baby supply store I'm gonna sell all kinds of cool baby products right okay cool so then we get rid of all this other crap that doesn't make sense here that way you could change your foot or two and take out tiny humans and fur babies and styling products and it could all be different baby categories but then someone comes to your website and they land on your baby bag and bed combo okay and let's just say this is one of the products that 
that you did your market research on and this you think is gonna be one of your best sellers. So let's get into product page issues now. Well, by default, your featured image, this thing, like I have no idea what that is. I mean, it says baby on it and you know, obviously I can click around through the photos, but that's not a good way to start showing this thing off. Um, then if I go through different products, like, yeah, okay, you know, you can see a little bit of what it is, but honestly, as someone who has no idea what you are, who you are, and again, I'm assuming the way you're getting traffic is to cold uh, audiences who weren't there already trying to buy this thing, you're trying to sell them on it. This page right here, what you have to think of as, sales pa as a sales page, isn't selling anybody on this. It's, it's not selling anybody on this. So I'm gonna give you uh, a tip right now. Again, this is for, uh, for Jeremy and for anyone else watching this. If you wanna get some creative ideas for how to better, um, I want to say, mar yeah, I guess better market your products. So this doesn't always work, but for usually for cheap products like this, if you're if you're going the low ticket route, which again I don't recommend, but if you were, go ahead and like take the product name that you want to sell, and then go on Amazon, and I'm not telling you to sell on Amazon, but take the product name and search for it, and then we'll see here this uh. The first result is is the same exact product. I mean, it's this one's private labeled because they're doing FBA. But what you'll want to see is how they market it, right? So look at their images, okay? So their first image is the product opened, but then look at these. They have an image here of a mom with their baby in it and on a picnic, and it says, you know, it's good for camping, good for a beach, good for a park. Like they're showing it off in use, right? Great for outdoor activities. The perfect size with compact folding. So they're showing off another benefit of it. Uh, they have all the dimensions of it. They say it's the best choice, which literally that badge means nothing besides the fact that they wanted to put it there. But again, they're marketing it. They're doing something to sell it. Uh, it's a three-in-one travel system. You can use it as a changing station, a portable bassinet, a diaper bag. Again, here's a baby. What is he doing? Is he giving a thumbs up? That's awesome. Here's a baby giving a thumbs up. Probably photoshopped in there, but he loves it apparently. So again, high quality materials. So look at this as a sales page, and then I'm not. Don't copy these images because they they had these made. They either did it themselves or probably paid someone on Fiverr or Upwork. But if you really want to pick a niche and you want to sell the products, you have to sell the products. You can't just use the default images and assume people are going to want to buy them. Look how they show off the benefits here, right? Soft bed sheets, handle straps, waterproof design, safe parachute bra brackets, durable zippers. They're selling it. Look about what they put under the product, right? Because then look about like uh, about look at your description here. It's it's not selling it. It's not doing much to sell it. Again, you need to give people more information. So uh, look at what they gave. Write up your own. Again, don't copy anything. But you got to do your job to get people to actually want to buy this from you. Now speaking of that, I'm going to show you one of our demo stores and some things that you can hopefully take away. So again, this isn't a live store. Well, it's live in the sense that it's actually a Shopify store and you can go to it. Uh, I'll link to it below. But it's like we don't actually sell stuff on this. We built this site to show our students. Um, you know, we have this and a bunch of other ones, but to show our students like some ideas they could take away. So this one is obviously a paddleboard store, stand-up paddleboard store. And what's cool about this, once you pick what you actually want to sell, so Jeremy, if you're going to sell baby products, your site, again, could be themed around that. Then when people go to your homepage, they could see, you know, images of people using baby products. They can You can link to different categories of baby products. You could have all these awesome images and all these graphics that actually fit people that want baby products. Like, you'll see what we did here, right? Obviously, we have the 24-7 free shipping, manufactured direct, 30-day guarantee, but then rider-owned and operated, right? You could start doing cool stuff like this because obviously you're not going to put a rider-owned and operated badge on any site, but because this one's specific to paddle boarders, we could say that. 100% uh, customer satisfaction, you know, with a little whatever they call that thing, whatever, it, it fits, right? It fits the theme. And if you're gonna do a baby site, you could do custom things like that as well. Now, again, that's what's gonna help you to fix up your product, uh, your homepage once you choose your niche. But let's dive deeper and let's go to a product page. So I'll just click on a random one here and then I'll go back to this one here and show you some product page changes you could make as well. So, uh, you know, by default, like you should have a review system on here. There's no way to leave reviews for anyone, for any potential customers. There's no social proof of saying what's good about this product or your site. So even if you just use Shopify reviews, put it on there, it's well worth it. Uh, something that we do that works really well is have uh, actual scarcity. So how many of these are left? This is custom code on the Dropship Lifestyle Shopify theme, but we have a countdown showing how many are actually left in stock. That way, again, people will be more likely to pull the trigger and buy. Because on your current product page, why should they buy now, right? What, why, like why, why not come back next week? Uh, we also do this, which I highly recommend you do, which is having 
having some other kind of urgency. So we do ex either expiring free shipping or expiring discounts. So sometimes we do 5% off, sometimes we do 10% off, sometimes it's free shipping, but we have this dynamically updated for when that promotion ends. Again, adding in that urgency. Uh, we also do estimated arrival dates. So people will get, are gonna know when this is gonna come to them. Because again, if someone just lands on your site, right? They have no reason to trust you. They don't know you yet, they don't like you. They just probably saw an ad and clicked through. Give them some more information. When are they gonna get this thing, okay? Have a link to live chat so they could talk to you if they have questions, it's important. If people are gonna buy and they don't know you yet, there's a good chance they're gonna reach out. Have someone there to respond to them. Honestly, you could put a live chat app on your phone and it's like a text message. Someone will come through, is this in stock? Yes, it's in stock, whatever. Close the sale. Um, few more things. Again, I said build out your description here. That needs a lot of work. Um, also, if you want to do tabbed product pages, I would highly recommend that. That way you could have all the description. You could have your shipping policy. If you have a price match policy, you could put it right there too. L give the person everything they need on that page so they don't have to leave, right? Give them everything they need right there. So um, tabbed product pages and you know, this is kind of obvious, but once you niche down and you have one product type, then you could also do cool, cool stuff like recommended products, add-ons, you could do upsells, and you could build out your footer more because this footer right now, if someone scrolls down, I mean, you got some basic links here, but then again, this is all totally random with where it's linking to, and there's nothing about, you know, support or whatnot. People want to know that you're legit. So we put here, get in touch. We put our hours of support, email addresses, uh, links to live chat, and then also social media pages. Pages. There's no social media for this uh, this website. And one question I get all the time is like, you know, should we like how like, how deep do we have to go with social media? You know, do I need to be posting nonstop all the time? The answer is no, but you should have accounts for your business on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, on Pinterest. And I'm not saying again you have to post all the time, but at least once a week, just log into them, have a you know a link posted to one of your product pages or just anything. That way, when these people that visit your site that don't know you, like you, or trust you yet, can you know see your social media pages? They can at least see, oh, this is a real business that actually you know they they post on their accounts. They're not a burner store because again, what this looks like right now is a burner store, which people aren't going to want to buy from. But again, that's just one of the reasons that um, I don't think people like this isn't a site that's going to take off. And again, just the honest truth, this isn't going to take off and become a huge business anytime soon. It does need a lot of work, but it's definitely something that's possible for you to do. Um, so with that being said, you know, Jeremy, hope you can get some takeaways from this. I know I talk fast, so take notes. Hopefully you do implement some of these changes. If you do, let me know. And I, I, I'm assuming you're drop shipping from China on here. If you don't want to do that, if you want to actually, you know, drop ship the way we do it with domestic suppliers, where you can make more money per sale, then go to dropshiplifestyle.com slash webinar. Uh, today's Wednesday. I'm actually doing a, a live webinar this Thursday night, so I'll post a link to this too, but I'm gonna talk all about the differences between drop shipping on Shopify, using Amazon, using Oberlo, using domestic suppliers like we do it. So if you're interested, again, I'll post a link to this below. And if anyone got value from this video, got some, ta ta some takeaways for your own site, please do give it a thumbs up, leave it a like, and also, what else? Um, yeah, if you want me to review your store in a future video, post the URL in the comments, and yeah, if we get positive response, I'll do more of these. So thank you everybody, and I'll see you tomorrow, actually, Thursday, for the next episode of Dropship Weekly. If you haven't subscribed yet, click subscribe, because tomorrow's episode of Dropship Weekly, I think, is gonna be one of our best yet. You're gonna wanna see it, so click subscribe and the notification bell to make sure you don't miss out. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.